Hello everyone and welcome to another Business Done Now product walkthrough. And today we're talking about Homestead.com. It's an Intuit company. And basically with Homestead.com, what you're going to be able to do is build and create your own website. And it's a very easy to use format. Basically it's a click and drag type style and um, easy to use format. So I'm going to show you a little bit about it. If you're interested in using Homestead.com to build your website, definitely go to businessdonenow.com and check it out. They're a featured product of the week. And uh, we have a free 30-day trial there for you to uh, take advantage of if you wish to. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and buy it if you know that this is what you want. Um, it can start as low as $4.99 a month, and you can have a website up and running. But, uh, yeah, let's get right to it and talk about what you can do uh, with Homestead.com. Now, today what I'm going to show you is their Site Builder Lite version. It's their online version that you can use to make quick updates, import an image, update some text. Maybe you do a blog every day and you need to update that, well you can definitely do that with Site Builder Lite. Otherwise what you're going to want to do is download their Site Builder software and have it on your desktop because that's going to allow you to have access to all the features uh, that you're going to need to create a very professional and um, great website. So you're going to want to do that, but today I'm just going to show you the Site Builder Lite version because it's going to give you a good idea of what you're going to be getting with Homestead.com and their services. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind though is that it um, the site builder version is only for PCs for some reason that you can have a Mac and download it. So make sure that you have a, a PC that you can download the site builder on. Otherwise, you know it's not going to work with a Mac. So that's why I'm showing you the site builder lights because um, I'm mainly a Mac user. But we'll go through and um, we'll show you what you're going to get with the site builder light version. So right here, I just have a, a random site that I built. And you want to click on edit your site once you sign in to homestead.com edit the site wait for it to load and then here it's going to give you that message telling you that yes you should download site builder um, but we're just going to ignore that message because I already have it downloaded on my PC but um, yeah basically here's what you're going to get here's where you're going to put your your logo so if you have one you can um, upload it there you know you can have your own Otherwise, you can just go with some text and put it in there. You can delete this. If you want, and just start brand new and not have that there. You can delete this picture as well, too. Um, here's where you can put like the name of your business if you want. Otherwise, phone number can go up here. You can quickly and easily add an image for the load. And uh, what you can do is you can add an image from your computer. Otherwise, you can uh, use there. They have an image library right there. Right there. Let's get rid of this here. Let's cancel. Let's go to their image library and let's just do a search for any type of image. I don't know. Let's say you want to put like a pen on there. I don't know. Maybe you're selling pens or something. And you're like, okay, I want this image. Just click on it and add. And it's going to have that image there for you. And you don't have to worry about um, any problems with using these pictures. They're there for you to use if you're if you're a Homestead uh, customer and they have tons of them. Uh, and then you can just put that wherever you want it. I'll just give you an example. Then as you can see here, you can type in text. You can edit the text that you have without any problems. You can add in form if you want. But you're gonna need Site Builder. So basically, all you really can do with Site Builder Lite is import images and update text. Everything else you're gonna need Site Builder for. But um, here they have a tutorial if you want to take advantage of that and kind of get a little more idea of what Homestead's all about. And like I said, they're really good with explaining what you cannot do and what you can do with it. They have tons of uh, videos for you to look at, and then their help center is also really great. And like I said, they have a 1 800 number that you can call anytime and get help. Uh, with your services for Homestead. So let's say that you made some changes and you like what you see, you can definitely save it and preview it. You're always going to want to do that. Make sure to save and publish everything, or at least save it. You won't be able to publish it here in Site Builder Lite. You would have to uh, do that with uh, Site Builder. So let's see if we can go back here. I want to show you how you would get started with this so if we go down here 
create another website. I'll show you what it's going to look like if you want to create a new website. I'll just type in. I'll just type in any domain right now. So here you would put in like the name of your business or your own personal name. It would be www your name dot homestead dot com. It's just a temporary domain until you actually go out and purchase one and associate it to this site. So let's see if they're gonna let me add this one. They're not going to. So let's just kind of do like one I had before. All right, there you go. You can add the site, and then you'd start with creating your site. And then here's where you can have all the the designs that you can choose from at homestead.com. There's tons of them, and uh, they do a nice job of breaking them down into categories for you. So, you know, let's say that you just have a general business. They're gonna give you some examples there, some services. So, I don't know, for example, let's say you're a financial planner. Okay, they're gonna have some designs there that they recommend that you go with if you're a financial planner, but really just pick one that you like because it's really gonna change once you import your own images, your logo, and you know get the text in there that you want. So just go for the layout that works best for you, um, you know, color scheme wise. So, you know, let's just say that we want this one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one. You're like, okay, this one's good, and then you can definitely go through and customize it. You know, put your logo in there if you want, and change anything around that you need to but first we gotta choose the design I guess I got ahead of myself a little bit so you go ahead and you choose the design it's gonna load it for you and then here you can customize the logo like I said they'll let you enter in text or or import your own change that around and then once you've got it the way that you want it you can save and publish it and then you have your uh, website up and running it's that easy and um, Definitely something to consider if you're looking to, you know, create your own type of website, but you're not, you know, very techy and you don't know a lot of code or HTML or CSS. This is definitely another option that you can have. Or if you just don't have time to build a website, it's very quick and easy to use. So definitely check it out at businessdonenow.com. Look at the free trial and see if it's something that uh, you you want to keep. So it's for 30 days, the free trial, and I would definitely recommend checking that out. Otherwise, that's about it, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this Business Done Now product walkthrough, and we'll see you on another Business Done Now product walkthrough.